What is up, my brothers and sisters? Okay, so as we all know, we have been stuck inside because of this uh, coronavirus quarantine, which has been amazing. I did the liberty of making a video of uh, all the things I've been doing this past few weeks. I hope you enjoy. select out certain groups who are either sick or who have already gotten over it. Wow, see, that was wonderful, wasn't it? That brings me to my next topic, the introduction of the rosary and how to pray it. Before we begin, I'm going over a quick history of the rosary. The rosary was first introduced by Mother Mary herself. She appeared to St. Dominic in 1214 and presented to him the rosary with the beads and the prayers. So before we begin, I'll give you five reasons why we should pray the rosary. Number one, the rosary is a weapon against evil. Number two, it gives us direct access to the power of Jesus Christ for us and for anybody who prays it. Three, it is a communication with Jesus. He wants to help us with our needs today, tomorrow, and the next. Number four, Our Lady, Mother Mary, in her apparitions to the saints, has called us to pray the rosary. So, our mom kind of wants, wants us to pray. <clears throat> Number five, Jesus wants to give us graces that he won for us. So, through praying the rosary, he can do so. So, the rosary consists of seven different prayers well six but the book that i've learned it from 33 days to morning glory an awesome book the, there'll be a description below so there's six prayers in the rosary and a seventh optional prayer but why would you not want to pray the optional prayer so i say that there's seven prayers in the rosary there's the apostles creed the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, or the Phantom of Prayer. It's like, oh my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, the closing optional prayer. I don't know what it's called. I just call it optional closing prayer. So how you begin the rosary, just like any other prayer, you make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't know if uh, many of you know this, but the sign of the cross is a grace given to us by God. It's like kind of like a reminder of you know, just becoming into his presence. And the Father sent his Son down so that we may be saved. And through the Holy Spirit, they are connected. And it's just, I don't know, when you ponder it, it's really beautiful. Step one and a half. After the sign of the cross, you pray the Apostles' Creed. Step two, while you are on these beads, you pray the Our Father. And then step three, three Hail Marys. Step four, the Glory Be. This is where the fun begins. You get to choose or you announce a mystery. And there's four mysteries of the rosary. The joyful, the luminous, the sorrowful, and the glorious mystery. They're all events of the one and only Lord Jesus, our Savior, his life. So as you're praying the rosary, it's like you sit down with Mary and she's like, this is my son, Jesus. Okay, so once you've picked which uh, mystery you want to pray, but then you start with one Our Father, and then ten Hail Marys is the sixth, the fifth, and sixth step. And then once you're done with the ten Hail Marys, you say a Glory Be and the Fatima prayer. And then you repeat again. You reflect on the second mystery. And then you say another Our Father. And then another ten Hail Marys. A glory be in the um, Fatima prayer. And then you reflect on the third mystery. And you repeat. And so forth and so forth. Until you're done with the fifth mystery. And then you get to the end. Once you're done meditating on the last, the fifth mystery. You pray the Glory Be and Fatima prayer again at the end. But after that, you pray the Hail Holy Queen. And then you can pray the optional prayer at the end. I always like to pray it, like I said before. If it's an optional prayer, may as well. Adios, everyone. Thanks for coming. I hope you learned something new today. And I hope that you learned how to pray the rosary. If not... You can always just Google it. It'll probably give better, clearer instructions, but until the next time, God bless.